Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Amazon Prime Air is awarded Part 135 certification. Reliable robotics successfully test flies remotely piloted passenger planes, and UAVOS promotes their urban air taxi concept, Sumo Air. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. Amazon Prime Air has been granted Part 135 certification from the FAA to start trial operations of drone deliveries, allowing Amazon to join the ranks of UPS and Alphabet's wing, who already received some limited FAA approval for drone delivery. The drone delivery system is designed to carry packages weighing as much as 5 pounds, up to 15 miles away, all in 30 minutes or less. The company stated that Prime Air has great potential to enhance the services we already provide to millions of customers by providing rapid parcel delivery that will also increase the overall safety and efficiency of the transportation system. The program is also part of their sustainability initiatives to help achieve what Amazon calls Shipment Zero, the company's vision to make all Amazon shipments net zero carbon, with 50% of all shipments net zero by 2030. Amazon revealed the latest version of their delivery drone last year featuring EV toll capabilities. The company has already been conducting 30-minute drone deliveries in England, with the first Prime Air delivery taking place back on December 7th of 2016 and lasting just 13 minutes from click to delivery. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for today's Unmanned Minute. The FAA is launching a pilot program to translate select web content involving basic drone safety information for recreational flyers into Spanish. The program is expected to reach nearly 25.6 million people living in the U.S. with limited English proficiency, which the FAA hopes will remove barriers for those interested in drones. The FAA will be analyzing the results of this outreach effort and may consider additional project phases in other languages in the future. Last week, FLIR Systems introduced the VU TZ20, the first high-resolution dual thermal sensor gimbal built for the DJI Matrice V2 200 series and the Matrice 300 airframes. Ideal for public safety teams and critical infrastructure inspectors, the VU TZ20 features both a wide-angle boson sensor with a 95-degree field of view and a narrow-angle boson with a 19-degree field of view, allowing pilots to put more pixels on the target. Pilots will also be able to safely capture thermal data from a distance with the VU TZ20 2640x512 resolution and 20 times digital thermal zoom capabilities. Lift aircraft demonstrated their hex to the top Air Force leaders, Texas National Guard hosts, and AFWorks personnel at Camp Mabry on August 20th in the first Agility Prime Orb flight. Agility Prime, recently launched by the Air Force, is a non-traditional program seeking to accelerate the commercial market for advanced urban air mobility vehicles. Texas-based Lift aircraft was one of the first companies of its size to join the Agility Prime Air Race to Certification. During the demonstration, Matthew Chazen, CEO of Lift Aircraft, piloted the Hexa over the Camp Mabry Parade ground just a few miles from downtown Austin. 
Kansas State University Polytechnic Campus's Applied Aviation Research Center has received a new waiver from the FAA allowing them to fly unmanned aircraft beyond visual line of sight in all Class G airspace. In addition, the waiver also permits the remote pilot in command to fly from a mobile command center, allowing for a controlled environment and distraction-free flying. K-State Polytechnic is a nationally recognized leader in the UAS industry. A member of the Kansas-UAS Joint Task Force and the first university in the U.S. to receive a BBLOS waiver from the FAA in 2018. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Reliable Robotics has reportedly achieved successful test flights of remote piloted passenger airplanes in United States airspace, a historic first for global commercial aviation. In the first flight with the press of a button, an unmanned four-passenger Cessna 172 Skyhawk automatically taxied, took off, and landed. Reliable Robotics began their C-172 program in January of 2018, seamlessly integrating their autonomous platform onto the 2,550-pound C-172 and completed a fully automated gate-to-gate -gate operation before the end of that year. Extensive system safety analysis and testing was conducted prior to the unmanned test flight in September of 2019. This marks the first time a privately funded company operated a passenger airplane of this type with no pilot on board over a populated region and was an important step in certifying the autonomous platform for repeated, safe, civil use on certified aircraft. Most recently, the company demonstrated fully automated remote landing of an even larger aircraft, the Cessna 208 Caravan, capable of carrying 14 passengers. UAVOS has introduced their Air Taxi Sumo Air, an all-electric tandem rotor helicopter concept consisting of a five-seater passenger aircraft, which includes a pilot cabin that can either be attached to a car or flight module. The helicopter can be operated both manually or autonomously, and is part of the company's research and development efforts to understand the fundamental technologies behind electric aircraft in the urban air mobility market. The Sumo Air unmanned helicopter features two redundant high-lift propulsion units. Their three-blade rotors are driven by two electric motors at around 520 RPM to ensure a low acoustic footprint. UAVOS's Air Taxi concept has additional safety advantages to the existing option, such as auto-rotation flight and landing capability. Sumo Air is targeting a cruise speed of approximately 87 miles an hour, and passengers will be able to cruise at altitudes of 8,200 feet. The air taxi is expected to measure in at 37.7 feet in length and 24.6 feet in width and will carry up to 3,700 pounds. And that wraps up our Airborne Demand for today. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. I'll see you right back here on Friday for an episode of Airborne Unlimited.